evening chaps, glad you could join me for the briefing. I uh, want to put a little bit more jump into the forces that we uh, are fighting the Jerry's with at the moment and quite difficult to win clouds of Europe as we reach 1947. So uh, we've been using successfully the mud skipper medium jump walker. I decided to uh, supplement that a little bit with this here smaller light jump walker, the Jackal. Jackal Light Walker, wonderful. Great way to uh, fill out the force that I've, I've got. Really enjoyed, as I say, using the medium walker. And uh, here we go with the, with the smaller version. Um, on the back, we've got the uh, finished project, a bit of, uh, bit of the uh, background there as well, very important, and uh, Conflict 47 all about the background. I really enjoy reading about it. And uh, instructions there, so there may not be instructions inside the box. That's, that's okay, that's good. It doesn't look too complicated. He says before he starts um, shouting and screaming uh, at his inability to do it, you out there being artists and artisans will do a great job, I'm sure. And then we've got the different types. So I think you can have kind of a machine gun version and you can have one with um, a flamethrower. So that's very exciting as well. I've used flamethrowers in Conflict 47 before, not very successfully, usually get shot to bits before they get close to anything. Having something on a jump walker, I might actually get some marshmallows um, cooked before being gunned down this time. So uh, let's have a look inside the box, shall we? Brilliant. Let's get in there. Well, we've got a... Uh, Cardboard inserts. Oh, also some literature. There we go, lovely. Maybe contact details for Warlord. I'll look at that in a bit. And uh, a blister on the cardboard. Super. In we go. My goodness, now I like having these resealable blisters. We didn't get these in my day. Most things come with them now and they're great for keeping your models in mid mid projects but also I've used uh, mine in the past as ad hoc painting trays as well because uh, I'm a philistine. Uh, so yes there we go we've got uh, decals, we've got transfers. Now these are nice and big aren't they? So I keep going on about how I should use um, transfers and how I don't have the skills to do it these are quite chunky so maybe now is the time to have a go let's whoa i gotta be brave gotta be brave maybe maybe or maybe i'll just mess it up and that's fine too uh the base there um there you go, give you an idea of the base size compared to the mud skipper so hopefully that will indeed be able to fit into new places and explore new areas of the battlefield brilliant then uh, we've got two big resin bits frames with accoutrement. Might be a bit. And then limbs. Limbs. Great. Let's uh, let's take these a bit at a time, shall we? We've got the uh, quite nicely done, aren't they? A few kind of sharpish bits there, which might need a bit of cleaning up. I've cleaned up the uh, there's a face there, face there superstructure and so it's the face with the peg in there are a few little sticky out bits there so I've just cleaned those up so that they fit well together and there's a kind of natural curve there natural curve there so you'll, you'll know how that goes in so you can just feel that there feel that there pops in like so he says there we go nice and flush a little bit of movement there not much not much. There was a bit of movement when I tried the first time. Now I've cleaned it up. There's not much movement at all. There we go. All in the design, eh? Got two plugs there for maybe arms or legs. I don't know which way around those are now. And two there. So they're on different parts of the superstructure. So, oh, I don't quite know how that works. Works yet. And we will find out. I look forward to that. It's great. So that's the body. We'll go for the legs next. Again, nice and chunky. Not a lot of flashing on on those. So maybe a seam line to take off. 
or something like that. But uh, for you, for you clever people out there who are good at such things, um, nice and chunky. I always find it bodes well when legs stand up on their own. Uh, it means I'll probably be able to put one leg on, maybe sight the um, sight the superstructure on the leg, and then work out where the other leg's going. So they go on nice and uh, nice and uh, steadily, get a steady looking model out of it. Uh, arms there as well as I say, so great. Then lastly, the frames. I don't think that is a bit, that is an actual bit. Mm, looks like that goes on the edge of the, of the fist, I think, I'm not sure yet. These look like caps, because this is a jump walker, and there are little round bits there, which may be some sort of gravitic thrust type thing or anti-grav unit. These may be caps for that or they may just be hatches for the hull. So uh, we'll see as we go on. Brilliant. I'll use that little bit there. And finally, this last little sprue, we have fists, two fists. This uh, walker has fists so you can fight in close combat. That's very exciting as well. Uh, walkers are quite good at uh, beating down on enemy vehicles when they get into close combat. That's quite fun. And uh, we've got a machine gun or some sort of ballistic weapon there and a flamethrower. It's only an infantry based flamethrower. I say only, that's still quite exciting to me who, as I say, has had trouble using them before. <laughs> so a uh, level of excitement uh, brimming, brimming over the top for me there. Great stuff. Let's, uh, let's try putting it together, shall we? Just a bit of bit of a guide as we're going going along. We've put the uh, the parts on the top of the thigh here of the uh, of the piece. Um, they seem to be kind of gravimeters or gyro jets or something something like that. Um, and uh, there's a little grid under there, a little kind of three lines, um, a kind of a ribbing, uh, and that corresponds with ribbing on, on the, the jet piece. And that's also true of the, just back from the fist there, that was a fist, not a cap, <laughs> or, or a cupola, it was, um, it was a fist in the end. Um, so yeah, there's, there's this kind of little grid, three, three lines there, and they correspond with the three lines on the weaponry as well. So uh, uh, yeah, if, if that's if that's useful, um, and if that's correct, um, I hope that gives good guidance. Absolutely super chaps, all put together, ready for a little bit of paint onto it. I might even try one of those transfers, so I do apologise if I mess it up. I'm not promising, I'm not promising, but we'll have a go. Went together fine, lovely chunky bits, and uh, um, it, it's actually very sturdy as well. Very sturdy indeed, so uh, very impressed with that with, with that too. It's not going to fall over on the, on the table. Uh, and um, it, it kind of uh, fell together well and uh, um, it didn't take a lot of finagling and mucking about when I was uh, putting the bits together. So, you know, big ball and socket joints were very helpful uh, too. So let's put some colour on, shall we? Super. There we are. Super stuff. All done. Brilliant. Well, all done to, um, uh, to, to, show, to show you... Uh, generals and field, field marshals. I think a bit of weathering is in order as well, and I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in due course. And you out there being artisans and artists as you are will do a great job of yours, I'm, I'm sure. Um, it's a neat little thing. It really is, and I'm very, very happy with it. Um, as I uh, said at the end of the build, it's dead solid. It's really cool. Look at that. I'm always a little sceptical when I put... Um, metal onto resin i don't know what that that's about it could just be my stereotype <laughs> it could just be my prejudgment but mixing the materials always seems a bit 
bit worrying to me, but uh, not so, not so in this case. Uh, uh, and uh, um, a very stalwart build we have. So um, let's do a quick size comparison. This is a normal person. There we go, one of my paras. There we are, so that's how big they are together. Um, we've got, we leave him, should we leave him there? Leave him there, there we go. Um, let's see, there we go. That's my medium walker, my mud skipper, next to each other. So look at that, that's brilliant. I think they go really well together. And I think you can, if I remember correctly, because I'm only, really, I've only played a few games of Conflict 47. Um, enjoy it, though, I, I really, really do. And I, I'd say it's one of my favourite games um, ever. Um, uh, I, I think you can put both of these into, into one army list and uh, you can correct me out there if I'm wrong about that. So they will complement each other, I hope, very very well um it's another comparison let's use a an m4 sherman there we are so he's about just a little bit taller than a than, than a sherman so there you go so if that's helpful to you so that you know what you can hide hide in behind and always him i don't know why i thought that could be a she if you like so there we go there is my jackal jump walker from warlord so remember Remember, chaps, if you are in the trench and uh, the, 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 the jerrys are, are coming, they're on you soon. Remember the uh, remember your Ronson, won't you? Because uh, that flamer, someone's got to go and light it, haven't they? Take care, everyone. Bye.